What is up, Hall of Famers on YouTube? I'm Card Shop Eric coming to you live from Hall of Fame Baseball Cards. As you can see, I'm kicking back in the chair. We're starting personal breaks a half hour early. Today is Saturday, January 16th. And you should know we're going to be taking a personal break <laughs> from personal breaks for the next week. Uh, this is our last personal break night until a week from tonight. We will be back doing personal breaks next Saturday, but personal breaks will not happen during the middle of the week, this coming week. Just taking a little bit of a personal break. We're going to do some rebooting of some systems and some stuff around town and take a little personal time, which I believe we all need. Um, so, uh, if you want to get ripped tonight, let's jump in early because we're probably not going to be hanging out too late tonight, that's for sure. We currently have nine spots left in our Tops Jumbo group break. As soon as that sells out, we'll rip that tonight. And then uh, if there's nothing else to do after that, we're probably just going to bail. So get your personal breaks in right now, folks. We're here. We're ripping. And as soon as this break right here, nine spots left, as soon as that gets down to zero, we'll rip that right now. So jump in there to that break, hofbc.com. I'll drop a direct link in the group chat. That link right there will take you to uh, the group break page, I believe. And let's get that filled tonight, and we'll rip that. And uh, if there's nothing else going after that, we're going to take off. So it's going to be a pretty chill Saturday. And then we're going to take a week off of personal breaks, and we'll be back a week from Saturday. So there's your heads up for that. Um, it's me ripping tonight. CJ's on the computer. And uh, we'll be back as soon as we got stuff to rip. Thanks, folks. And while we're waiting for that group break to fill up, I do have a couple of small items that I can uh, rip for a couple of people here. Uh, I got a chrome black for Jose B, and I got a uh, 16 by 20 for Linda G that we can all check out, anyone who's hanging out. Uh, meantime, uh, let's fill up that group break that has nine spots left or so, and uh, we'll get that done, and then we'll probably call it a day, folks. And uh, like I said earlier, we're going to be taking the next week off of personal breaks. Personal breaks will continue a week from today. So, Jose B, here we go, bud. I have personally uh, really enjoyed Taps Chrome Black. Excuse me, let me grab a trash bucket here. I have personally enjoyed Taps Chrome Black myself. Let's see what we got going. I'm gonna try to hide your hide your autograph card there. There we go. All right. Let's check out the pack. See what's going on. Starting off with McNeil. You got Shogo Akiyama rookie card. And a little colored parallel Bryce Harper parallel there. Numbered out of 199. 003 out of 199. Dub 03. And let's check out your check out your autograph here. Here we go, buddy. Oh, just a little slow reveal. I see. Who's that? Anybody recognize that face? It looks like Boston. I'm gonna say 
I don't know. I'm just thinking it's going to be someone like uh, old school, like Manny Ramirez. That's kind of who it looks like, just from that. Does anybody recognize that face there? CJ says Bogarts. That's a pretty good guess. Probably a better guess than mine. Bubble Pug says Devers. I like that one. Let's see who it really is. Xander Bogarts. CJ with the win. CJ with the win. The only downside of the chrome black, it, the cards look great, but the plastic is all coming all scratched up a lot of times. I don't know if you've anyone else has experienced that when they're opening their own chrome blacks, but seen that on many of the chrome black uh, plastic cases. They're all scratched up, unfortunately. But there you go. Xander, he's a good player. Nice on-card auto. Base, uh, base on-card auto. Nice. There you go, Jose B. Still loving the chrome body. Still loving the chrome black. Still not loving police. <laughs> All right. Linda G. Jumping on a 16 by 20 here. There it is. Let's see what's in it. We do have a couple more boxes of chrome black left, I think. And we got uh, definitely have some more 16 by 20s. These are just 129 if you guys like the uh, collectability of the 16 by 20s. Hopefully I'll be able to show you a nice example of what's been coming out of this kind of stuff. Here we go. Linda G, you have come up with... CJ, I might need your help. Before I turn it over and look at the name on the back, does anybody recognize this young man? Number 22. There's the autograph. Not off the top of my head. Not off the top of my head, I don't. CJ, you? It looks like an F, like a Fletcher. Is there a Fletcher? Let's, let's turn it over and see if there's a name on the back. Of course not! Gold Rush, why would you put names on the backs of these products? You know, make us look it up on Beckett. This thing is top loaded upside down, too. CJ, do you mind? I'll give you the number right now. We're going to look up the. Uh... Woodruff says Doug Flutie. Um, I think you might be right, Woodruff. Now that I look at the young face there, I think you might be right. I like that guess. We're going to look it up, anyways. You ready? Beckett, anybody ready? Anybody look this up before CJ? CJ is maybe the slowest person I've met in my life. Jesse P is saying Doug Flutie. Yeah, it does look like Doug Flutie. I just want 100% confirmation. I could look this up faster than you, CJ. What are you doing? You know how to use a phone? Yeah. <laughs> uh, WA57548. What up, Tim? Jesse P. O Medallion? Pug? Brandon H. Yeah. It's Flutie. All right. Confirmed. Cool. Flutie. Whoever that was. Uh, who was that? Who was that? Woodruff. Nice job, D. Wood. Cool. That's a pretty good one. Doug Flutie right there. Flutie Flakes. What's he doing these days? Is he like an uh, okay. analyst or something? Eight left. Eight spots left in the group break, says uh, CJ right now, as I just handed off those products. Eight spots left in the group break, folks. We will be ripping that as soon as those eight spots sell. And uh, anything else that comes up on the table. Uh, Brandon H., we haven't, even, we haven't even received Playbook. I don't know what's going on with our playbook shipment. I'm really disappointed in uh, the way Pete Panini's been treating its allocations. I'm disappointed with, with the whole system right now. But I'm not going to bother you guys with all that. Let's just get some products ripped and have a good time tonight, folks. We'll be back when there's stuff to rip.
All right, folks, you see it on the screen, seven spots left in that group break. As soon as that's done, I'm going to rip that tonight. Right now, I'm going to open this box of football for Tim. All right, Tim A. I uh, wonder who this is for, he says. 2020 Immaculate Football, buddy. Thanks for your support, Tim. We appreciate you. And anyone else who's supporting us by jumping into our breaks. All right, your blockchain card's on the top. Show that real quick. Here's your digital blockchain. It's James Morgan. Immaculate Signature Rookie Patch there. I'll kind of use that to hide some of the other cards as well. The top card here is Derek Carr out of 25. Derek Carr there. Next, we're talking about Chad Johnson. Ocho Cinco out of Ocho Cinco. <laughs> it's actually 58 of 85, I think that says. Yeah, that's kind of cool. 58 out of 85. Next, we're talking about, this is sick. Gabriel Davis, rookie helmet out of 29. That's cool. It's got like an acetate uh, top over it right there. A little piece of the helmet right there. That's dope. Piece of the bill. Piece of the Buffalo Bill symbol there. It's a nice card. Acetate top on that. Looking like three more cards left. Next one is uh, Rams. Aaron Donald there, a little triple patch autograph out of 49 with the new L.A. symbol on it. I don't remember seeing too many cards yet with that new L.A. symbol on it. A. Donald right there, nice, clean sig. Two cards left, here's the second to last. It's a uh, rookie eye black jersey signature of Anthony McFarland Jr. 72 out of 99. I like how they use the eye black for them to sign on. I think it's a little bit cooler than a uh, regular sticker. And final card in the box for you. Antonio Gibson. Another acetate top card. It's an on-card rookie autographed patch. Numbered out of 99. For the uh, Redskins, Antonio Gibson is the final card of the box. That's going to do it for that box, Tim. What's your opinion? CJ liked it. Tim, hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you got some cards in there that at least you might be able to enjoy when you get them in the mail. So there you go, Tim. Thanks, buddy. Sad that James Morgan Blockchain was the best card. Well, Tim, nevertheless, we, we appreciate you, buddy. I'm glad you're uh, supporting us and Thank you so much. Uh, who else is going to show their support this evening? We got still seven spots left in that uh, six jumbo box mixer with 18 hits. Oh, a couple more just sold, so that's going to be five left, I guess. Five spots left in the group break. Let's get that done. As soon as that fills, we're going to rip that. And if there's nothing else to rip after that, we're going to call it a night. And then we're going to take a little vacation from personal breaks for the next week. So, folks, jump in tonight because uh, we're going to take a little break from personal breaks, like announced at the beginning of the stream. And uh, we won't be doing breaks uh, middle of this coming week, but we will be back on Saturday, a week from today with personal breaks. So 
Tonight's your last night for personal breaks with us until next Saturday. So jump in tonight. Thanks, folks. All right, I got something uh, here for Ryan K. A couple of boxes of Elite Extra Edition coming in for you, Ryan. Thank you, sir. Let's check it out. Box number one. Hey, Ryan. By the way, folks, we are currently planning to uh, reopen our brick and mortar to the public on February 10th. As of now, that's the current plan. Um, February 10th is the currently scheduled top series one release date. And for us, that usually marks the beginning of the new season of collecting. So we're going to try to open back up on February 10th. Maybe have some kind of a parking lot rip party, a socially distanced rip party. But we'll see. Just keep that in mind that we will be open sooner than later. Here's the, auto the autographs or the hits. There's Brady Lindsley and Evan White. Brady Lindsley and Evan White. Evan White Relic, of course. Elite break with the torque bounty. If we did that, I couldn't do it at that same price, Ryan. We actually didn't make any money on that last group break. We probably lost money on it. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the extent, the extension of that those details because nobody cares. But here's Rainer Doncon and R.J. Dabovich autographs. Rainer just signed like a J. I don't know how he signed a J because I don't see a J in his name. But interesting there. Dabovich. Dab on him right there. Rip party on Zoom, says Ryan K. You know what, Ryan? It's something we've been considering for the last year is how to execute a Zoom rip party. Um, and I have some ideas, Ryan. I'll share them with you. And let me know what you think about this. This is kind of what we've kind of been tossing around. Here's Hunter Green out of 64. Um, probably could, probably would have to charge like a minimum amount for a buy-in for the night. So whoever wanted to buy in, whatever we might call it, maybe 500 bucks or something, you buy in and we'd probably set up like a menu. So for that price, we would say you buy in for 500 bucks and we're going to rip, you know, X, Y, and Z all night long. That's what you're going to get for that buy-in. But that's something. That's the way we could do it. Would be fun. Here's an autograph, Carmen Lazinski, and a little Bobby Witt Jr. relic out of 199. W was just missing the T, the WTF autograph. That's funny. Matt Bracken, we do not currently take PayPal, but that is something that is going to be coming to our purchase options uh, by summertime, I would assume. It's probably safe to say. We are going to be hooking up PayPal to our methods of payment through our website, though, sooner than later. Thanks, El Medallion, for jumping into a spot there on the break. Rodriguez, we got two autographs, I think, here. Emerson Hancock and Jake Eater. Three left. 
Three spots left in the group break, folks. According to CJ, three spots left. Who wants them? And we're going to rip that and call it a night. There's nothing left. Here's Sam Weatherly out of 10 on a little die cut. Kalai Rosario out of 249. Little Welbin Francisca. Autograph Relic out of 199. And Michael Goldberg. Gold. Okay. Joseph Vargas is excited about the jumbo break. He's got a couple spots, I believe. Uh, Ryan, that was your first box. We're going to get into your second box of Elite right now. Two spots left in the group break, from what I'm told. Gavin Stone, die cut of Tyler Brown there. Got a little Jack Hartman out of 4.99, and we got Hun Il Choi autograph and a little Barry Larkin relic. Choi is on the hidden gems. Doesn't look to be numbered. Tis not. Backs of those cards are nice and colorful though. Halpin, Garrett Mitchell, oh, Chrome, Keithran Moss out of 120, Ambioris Tavares on card, and Jack Hartman. Joseph and his dad jumped into the break. There we go, a little father-son break action. That's cool. Here's Drew Romo die cut out of 24. It's a nice looking card. Clayton Beater out of 220. A little Tanner Hook. Chrome Auto and a Heston Kierstad relic. One spot left in the group break, folks. Who wants it? One spot left. What's up, soup? Yeah. Ing. Yeah. Mockingbird, what you say? I'm gonna buy you a diamond ring, diamond ring. <laughs> Vargas. A little Aza Lacey out of 215 on card. Okay, nice prospect. And a little Case Williams. Case Williams, a little Aza Lacey. Out of 125. There you go. Nice. One more pack. Well, it sounds like we're going to be getting into that break. What's up, Herman? Did I say hi to you yet? Hello, Herman. Maximo Acosta in the final pack for Ryan K here. Kelvin Hidalgo. Fabian Lopez. Yeah, Kelvin Hidalgo autograph relic out of 135, and then a little die cut auto out of 24 for Cade Meekles. Boom. 
Not a bad box there. Break is sold out, folks. So I'll be setting up for that right now, and then we're going to execute that. Thanks to Ryan for those couple of boxes and the support. Appreciate you. Top Series 2 Black Luis Robert for 40 bucks. Is that a decent price? Top Series 2 Black out of 299. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Might be a decent price right now. But uh, give me a minute to set up for this break here, folks. I'm gonna put it on mute and I'll unmute it when we're ready to go. All right, folks, I think we're ready to go. Follow me, participants of the jumbo box break, to the randomizer screen. There's the teams. There's the participants. Here's the dice roller. We're going to roll the dice one time, and that number is going to randomize both lists. Here we go. Six times. Six times per list. What's up, James R.? Cheers, buddy. One, two, three, four, five, and six times on the participants. There's that. Now here's the uh, teams. What's up, Blue Crabs? One, two, three, four, five, and here's the final roll. Good luck. Six. Get ready to screenshot if you're participating. There's the matchups, folks. So you've got the Dodgers. Oh, Medallion. You got our Dodgers. Joseph V, you got our angels. And everybody else in between there, screenshot that or take a picture of it. Let's get into this break. Let's get into it. Yeah, go with series one, then series two, then update. Two boxes of each. Oh, CJ, can you grab me a box to put these in, please? Cool, James. How close are you to building the set, James? I know picked up, you picked up some uh, 206 from us recently. Are you trying to build, like, the whole set? Series 1 through 5 or whatever it is? Just let us know what you're doing. Thanks, bud. Probably going to need a bigger box. Okay. Uh, let's start off with the uh, turkey red box loader. It's going to be Jordan Alvarez, rookie, on the turkey red box loader there, going to Houston. 
I went to Joseph V. Gets the Houston cards. I'm going to do one silver pack, and then I'll finish the box with a silver pack. Zach Gallen, Mattingly, Altuve, and what a nice black parallel Beau Bichette. We got Toronto. Um, David W. Is that Woodruff? Might be. It's a nice looking card out of 199. Nice little rookie. Black Mojo from the Silver Pack. James says, just base, 50 per series. After that, I'll start on the Piedmonts. So there's five series of 206, I believe. Is that right, James? And there's 50, so that's what, 250 base cards set? Cool. How close are you? How many of the cards do you have out of 250? So we're going to just kind of breeze through these jumbo packs. I'm going to take a slower look at the first pack here, but then I'm just going to kind of skip right to the back of most of these. There's a Gavin Lux rookie. All cards do ship, but when it comes to some of these jumbo boxes and whatnot, we usually don't spend a ton of time looking at all the base cards. We leave that for you guys. It looks like we might have an autograph here already. Here's the first pack of Series 1. Who's in Series 1, uh, Siege? Okay. Well, here's Andres Munoz. Nice on-card rookie autograph in the first pack of the regular packs here of Series 1. Who got San Diego in this break? We're talking Joseph. Missing 25-ish cards, says James. That's cool, man. You're close. Joseph, first official hit. Out of the break. Going to you, buddy. Congrats. So we're going to skip to the middle of the packs now and just kind of see, check out the inserts, see if there's any uh, rookies lingering or anything, any cool inserts lingering. A little Ryan Sandberg throwback, a little Don Mattingly. Cool. When Josie comes home. So good. She's the pride of the neighborhood. Do be do 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 Did you guys hear about that random, like, that random breaker on some some channel? I'm not sure where he was doing it, but the guy that was, he was opening, he was opening products for people, like people do on live streams like this, right? Except he only had one handheld camera, like his phone right here in front of him, and he was opening the products off the camera over here. He didn't have an, he didn't have an overhead or nothing, just one camera right in front. He was opening the products over here, like, I'm going to take this card as a sample. He would open up the pack and then show the cards out of the pack, like that. And then I guess at one point he said, oh, someone's at my door, and he left the screen, but you could hear, like, you could hear, like, rustling. You could hear rustling, and he was, I guess he was totally lying to his people and ripping them off. So there's another perk to shopping at Hall of Fame baseball cards, folks. Just so you know, uh, as a family business that's been in business for, for, for 40 years now, yes, we are celebrating 40 years this year, folks. You know you're going to be uh, treated right. You know that we're not going to screw anybody over. And so isn't that just another reason to shop with us? Here's Brennan McKay, little uh, commemorative patch rookie, numbered out of 149. Tampa Bay is going to Robert H. Hey, thanks, James R. 
40 years ago, my dad started this business, folks. And uh, myself and Matt and Brandon and CJ and Yama and all sorts of, you know, a couple, all sorts of people that have been supporting us are helping to keep it running. And try to take it another 20 years. Middle of this pack, we got Yachty, Catfish, and a little Trout, 35th anniversary. That's true, Herman. It's definitely safer to uh, visit a shop that has a long-time reputation. It's safer than buying products off of eBay. When many times you don't know who you're getting products from. The Ricky Henderson Award winners. Who got the athletics? Uh, John D. has got the A's. Getting that Ricky. There's Nolan Ryan. But yeah, it's just safer. Wish I knew about you guys for longer. Grew up in Arcadia. Only found out if you guys this last year. Huh. How old are you, Brandon? Did you go to AHS or what? Here's Lindor, Bat Relic, going to Cleveland. In this break, that goes to Terezo. If you guys don't follow us on Instagram, you should probably try to do that. We're Instagram at Hall of Fame Baseball Cards. Actually, just posted a picture of Terezo's son, Royce, showing off that Mike Trout autograph we pulled for them last week. Anybody else that shops with us, feel free to message us any photos of the hits that you pull from uh, the boxes you buy from our shop. And we'd be happy to try and share them. Let's see. 26 years old, went to HS, but always lived south of Foothill. Okay. 26, that means you would have graduated. Gosh, you're a little bit behind me. You would have graduated. Hold on. Shoot, you're a little bit older than me. You would have graduated in like... 20, 2000 and, I don't know, I can't even do math right now. 2012? Did you graduate high school in 2012? I went to Arcadia High School, uh, Brandon. I actually started high school at Maranatha um, and finished high school my last two years at Arcadia High. I grew up in Arcadia. I went to all the public schools and a couple of different private schools too. Graduated in 13. I was close. Here's Kyle Lewis, full foil rookie, though. Who got the uh, Mariners? Talking Scott C. There you go. I graduated in 96, Brandon H. 96. I don't suppose Mr. Calderhead was still teaching ceramics when you were there. I doubt it, because he was pretty old when I graduated, but he was dope. Mr. Calderhead was was really cool. Here's a uh, rookie auto, I think. Oh, I was hoping it was going to be a Decades Next auto. It's not. There's a Juan Soto insert there, too. It's a little warm in here right now, excuse me. That was my 10-year reunion, says Soup. <laughs> Soup's old, too. What up, Tamo? Yama's on tour. Yeah, no, Yama's just with his family. He's uh, spending some much-needed family and just personal time right now. Hoping uh, maybe some point this next year or so, he might come back and be able to work with us. That would be great. But uh, right now, he's just kind of taking it. Taking it week to week and helping out his family and waiting for some things to kind of loosen up. There's Strawberry, Devers, Pete Alonzo, and Jordan Alvarez in the final silver pack in that box. The final pack in that box. And we got another one to do. 
Bubble Pug, class of 23. That must make you a sophomore, I think. Box loader. Our box loader is Verlander. Yippee ki yay. Madapaka. That's what Dustin would have said if he was here. Well, let's do one of these silver packs too. Here. We'd like to find a silver pack auto in one of these boxes or just something cool, really cool. Glaber, Thomas, Ripken, and Dylan Cease. Chuck Wagon, what's up? Waldron, graduated in 2000. All right, so you're only four years behind me. It's going to make you about 38. Joseph Vargas, graduated 2017. Here's Savale. Brandon H. says, been a rough week. Got rear-ended exiting Huntington Drive the other day. Bummer, buddy. There's a Jordan base rookie. Hope you're all right, of course. Herman graduated in 93. Okay, so Herman's even older than me. I knew that. Might have an autograph here in this pack. A little Bly Levin and Ozzie Smith inserts. And behind Logan Allen, we got a relic. Speaking of Herman, hey, there's a Chris Bryant bat relic here. Going to, I think he said Roseanne had the, tw the Cubs. Double checking. Yeah, Roseanne M gets the Chris Bryant bat relic. Yeah, Herman's an old fart just like me. Here's a uh, Kevin Pillar, a Mike Trout insert, Mike Soroka. Let's see a little home run challenge. Obviously, that game's over for the season. <laughs> Christian Stewart foil, Pettit, and Clemente. A little throwback. Let's see, a little Verlander tops now advertisement. We got a little Anthony Rendon foil, league leaders, Roy Oswalt, decades best, numbered out of two ninety nine. Another one for the Astros. Joseph, a little numbered card. A little Babe Ruth, a little Pujols. Scooby didn't do. I will reiterate once again for anyone who's just joining us that uh, this is our last break for about the next week. Uh, we're going to be taking a little break from personal breaks uh, for next week, and we will be back with personal breaks a week from tonight, folks. One week from tonight, we're just taking some personal time to try to reboot. Uh, we will still be doing some curbside pickup. We will still be shipping out regular orders. And we would love your support in that respect over the next week. But as far as breaks go, no breaks till next Saturday. So if you want something ripped, let's get those orders in before we're done with this break because if there's no orders on the on the table, I'm just going to call it a night right after we're done with this group break, folks. Here's a Junior Fernandez black parallel on card autograph going to St. Louis. Brandon H. I like the colors on there, all the red, yellow, the blue, the black border, nice on card. Number 58 of 198. I'm older than soup. That doesn't help me feel young, says Chuck Wagon. 
I don't blame you, buddy. Here's Devers on the foil. Moogie Betts looking like a pimp. Award winner, Joey Votto, insert. Freddie says, congrats on 40 years. You guys are doing an awesome job. You guys should have a kid's day at the shop. My son wants to meet you. He wants to know if you still play softball. Well, we haven't been playing much softball because of the COVID stuff. We were trying to kind of make it happen, but then it just started getting closer to home, and we all realized that it just uh, wasn't important enough to take the risk, really. Even one of our one of our one of our friends on our team recently lost his father to COVID la this last week. So, yeah, we've been properly distancing and haven't been playing as much. Um, but our, like I said earlier, our brick and mortar is currently closed and we're only doing curbside pickup, but we're planning on reopening the brick and mortar, uh, by top series one release day, which is currently scheduled for February 10th. So should be able to come visit, visit our shop again, starting February 10th. As far as right now, that's the plan. Here's Vargas. Here is Devers on a black parallel out of 69, and I just kind of accidentally flicked it with my thumb. I apologize, but that was my fault. It's out of 69. I kind of accidentally gave that a little bend. I apologize to Robert G, but uh, shouldn't shouldn't be too bad. There you go. And there's a uh, Tanaka. Uh, one of these little commemorative medallions. Masahiro Tanaka, Yankees, getting a medallion. It's going to go to Terezo. McGuire die cut and Schwarber insert. And the last pack from that box is a silver pack. Going with Ichiro, McGuire, Nolan Ryan, and Shohei. Mm, moving on. When Joey comes home. We're getting into the Series 2 jumbos now, folks. There's uh, one, uh, two silver packs and a box topper. There's the box topper. Box toppers. Ooh, how about a Sandy Koufax Super Fractor insert box topper. One of one going to the Dodgers. And that, I said it earlier, it's going to be Oh Medallion, Oh Medallion Clementine. You were lost and gone forever, Sean D. This card is fine. That's better than the auto. Wow. That's what we were hoping for. Something massive at one of these breaks. Where is O Medallion? Has he passed out and fallen out of his chair? Somebody revive him. If anybody is listening at his house in the background, please come to O Medallion. Come to Sean's help. He may, he may be injured right now and lying on the floor. He may have fallen and unable to get up, but there it is. Out of a box topper pack from this first box, a Series 2 Jumbo, we found a Sandy Koufax Insert Super Fractor. Bro, he says. I mean, can I just leave it up here a little longer for you? Is that cool? I doubt we're going to see anything much cooler than that out of this break, but I hope we do. Sandy Koufax Super Fractor cannot go wrong. That is Massive. That's a great hit. Are you a Dodger fan? I can't remember. I gotta I gotta move on. There's the other card in that pack. It's just supposed to be a little chrome base card like that. Wow. Is he? Give me a mag actually. I got a 60 point or whatever, something like that, 75. What up, Mark B? Brandon was reading my mind. Get it out of this penny sleeve. I'm going to throw it right in a mag right now. There it is. That is 
That's a thing of beauty. That is a thing of beauty right there. One of one, Kofax Superfractor, baby. All right, we, we must move on. The show must go on. Wow, I'm going to try a silver pack. Red Sox fan. Okay, that's all right. You, you can always live with a Hall of Famer Superfractor, no matter whose team it is. Unless for me it's the Astros or Giants, and I'm kicking it to the street. <laughs> Here's Chipper, Yachty, Chapman, and Diaz in the silver pack, the first one. Wow, all right. <laughs> now we get to get in some base packs. Whew. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's see what the middle of this pack is. Are these in the back? I think Series 2, they started putting the inserts in the backs of the packs. For Series 2 and update, yep. Cole advertisement, little D.D. Gregorius foil, Dawson, Alonzo, and Bregman on the speckle. <sighs> oh yeah, we'll be sharing that card. It will definitely be on the IG page soon. How could it not be? Oh, and look at that. There's a little Luis Robert base rookie in the middle of this pack. Cool. Whoever got the White Sox, by the way, that was Julia. Maybe some uh, some better hits will come out for the Sox for Julia. Here's Guzman there on the foil. A little Real Muto. Oye Como Va. And a little Vlad Jr. on the sparkle. Wow. Back of this pack. Finding some more inserts. I think we found another autograph in this pack here. It's behind Trevino. We'll put it there. Yount, Orioles, Freeman, Trout, Turner, and there's a Luis Robert Sparkle. I'll sleeve that one for Julia B. Cool. And behind Trevino... Dakota Hudson, another one for St. Louis. Brandon H., another on-card auto. When Josie comes home to stay deep and well, Cody Bellinger, home run challenge. We got Cam Gallagher, Corey Seager, foil. Little well, Trout, Abreu, and hey, ooh, dream weaver. I believe you can get me through the night. Bubble Pug, dreaming of Yelich. <laughs> That's an actual perfect card for that song, too. With the sparkles. Back of this pack, checking out some more inserts in this packs here. A little Rendon, a little Junior, Lincecum, Glavin, and Mookie. Mike Trout advertisement, a little Detroit Tigers foil. We got Yankees, Daryl Strawberry, and Cody Bellinger. Back of this pack, it looks like we got some kind of a hit here. Sifting, sifting. Save that. Check out Kendrick. Alex Cobb. Alex Cobb Salad. Frank Thomas. Javi Baez and Acuna Sparkle. And behind McMahon, we've got 
little Sunny Gray commemorative patch on the 150th, 150th anniversary commemorative patch. Going to Cincinnati. It's going to be Jose R. When Josie comes home. When Josie comes home. So good. There's Charlie Morton, Norris, Carew, Freeman, Nolan Arenado, and Reese Hoskins. Major League Material Relic going to the Phillies. Doug W. getting that one. All the rest of the Phillies with it. Kendrick, we got Jeff McNeil, not numbered, Colton Wong, Chris Sale, Wade Boggs, and Juan Soto, Sparkle. And Josie comes home, so good. Last regular pack in the box. I think we might have, I think there's a backwards card there. Schmidt, Chris Davis, Scherzer, Gavin Lux, Sparkle Rookie. Throw a sleeve on that. Any Dodgers fans in the group chat right now that are, uh, what do you, I want to know your opinions. What do you think Gavin Lux is going to amount to? Do you think he's going to stay with the team? Do you think they might use him as trade bait? Do you think he's going to amount to anything? I'm skeptical, personally. But I'd like to know what everyone else thinks. And the backwards card was Logan Webb. yippee ki -yay. Silver pack. Clemente. Tanaka. Hilliard. And, ah, there's a silver pack autograph going to Baltimore. Robert H. Cool. Glad we're finding a couple of decent things out of these boxes. One box had an auto and one box had an autographed silver pack card and a super fractor. In case you missed that earlier, this came out of the box topper, folks. At the top of the box, a Kofax one of one insert super fractor. Yeah, that happened about ten minutes ago. All right, moving on to the second box of Series 2. I, I collect all Ricky Henderson cards, Brandon H. Anything that I don't have in my collection, I'm looking for, basically. Mostly bases and parallels. I'm not getting too deep into autographs and stuff yet, because there's just... A little more money than I care to spend or have to spend yet, but all right, box topper in this box could it be also cool? Need Lux to do well, still have that out of 25 chrome auto. Here's Jim Palmer and George Foster. One silver pack. Ooh, we got some color. Stanton. Marte, Soler, color is, oh, how about a Luis Robert, orange mojo, rookie autograph from the silver pack, Chicago White Sox, Julia B, wherever you are, you also hit big in Hall of Fame, wow, 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 folks, all right, if you didn't buy into this break, uh, you're probably kicking yourself in the butt right now, if you're not kicking yourself in the butt right now, you probably should be. So look at that, two boxes in a row. An orange mojo, auto, a Luis Robert, and a super fractor Kofax. Hello, this card's gotta be worth what? You wanna look him up? 
see what they're going for. See what any of his silver pack autos are going for, and just try to compare. I mean, I'm gonna guess what twelve hundred bucks. I don't know. I have no idea. That's my guess. CJ says more. I, I'm playing it low because you never know with the off season, off season. But wow! All right, folks. Wow. Series two. Back of this pack. Back of this pack. We got a Jose Abreu. Short print, I guess. Josh Naylor. Expos, Kershaw, and another Wad Soto Sparkle. At least 500 bucks says Brandon. CJ, have you found anything yet? Same color? CJ says the last orange refractor mojo autograph of his sold for about 1100 bucks. So I uh, had a pretty good guess. Oh, 800. 800 bucks. So I didn't have a good guess. Here's a Seeger foil. Zito bench and another Lux. But that Luis Robert, I think that personally is a cool one to hang on to. That kid has all the potential in the world, and if he blows up this next season or two, that card will easily probably triple or quadruple in value. That's my suspicion, at least. But we are nailing it so far. Two silver pack autos and a super fractor in the last two boxes, folks. Wow. Okay. Okay. Should the Dodgers sign Turner? Well, they've kind of running out of options right now. I think they're going to have to. I think they're going to have to. Kendrick, Adam Wainwright, Felix Hernandez, Yount, and Bregman. What's up, Josh P? Let's see, Austin Riley, not numbered. Lance McCullers, Harold Castro, Mike Trout, Seeger, and a little Vlad Jr. Back of this pack, we got oh, another auto, I think. Put that right here. Leba, Sam Gavilio, Devers, Mancini, and how about a Luis Robert Sparkle? So Julia B is having a good time in this break. If she's watching live or watching later, congratulations to Julia. Randomly matching up with the socks, and then the socks are hitting. Autograph, Randy Arozarena, rookie autograph on the baseball stars. Yes, sir, E. Bob, Tampa Bay, Robert H. Robert H. These are some of the best boxes of Series 2 I've ever seen. Rosa Reina, keep an eye on this kid, man. He is powerful, healthy, young. His cards are going to be good to collect, I think, too. What's up, Ralph D? Yeah, this break is hot. Series one was series one was a little slow, but series two is definitely heating up. I hope update continues. Here's a Hank Aaron card. Not numbered. Santana. Giants. Another Trout insert. Nelson Cruz and some more Yelich. My Sharia Moe. Something in a summer's day. What's up, Sharif? Thanks for five bucks in the super chat tip hat. Cheers. 
Thanks for all you do, she says. From Terezo, her, and Marcus and Royce. Cheers, family. Thanks for your support. Right, let's see. Advertisement. We got Jake Bowers. We got Pujols and Chris Sale. And Cody Ballinger, Sparkle. When Josie comes home to stay, she beat it bad and it bad. Juan Soto, we got Trey Mancini. And yes, I've got Steely Dan's Josie on the brain right now, if you haven't noticed. Here's Jack Morris, Glaber Torres, and Mookie. Might have a relic here behind that Rangers card. We got Darvish, Mike Leak, Clemens, Suarez, and Arenado. Is Arenado still free? Well, he's still on Colorado. But weren't we thinking about trying to nab him? Yeah. What's up with that? Anybody know what's up with that? Uh, Jose Altuve relic. Bang, bang, the trash can goes. For Jose Alcheetve Relic, going to Joseph. There you go. Last official pack in the box has another commemorative, I think. We got Garcia, we got Foyle, William Soler, and Acuna. And then we've got... A little Fernando Tatis Jr. Padres 50th anniversary commemorative relic. Going to San Diego. Forgot who that was. That was Joseph. There you go, buddy. One more silver pack in that box. Then we move on to update series, folks. Tony Gwynn. Solak. Shogo and Buster Posey there. But man, those were two boxes of Top Series 2. We got two silver pack autos, including one Luis Robert Orange Mojo auto, out of 25, of course, and a Sandy Koufax Box Topper Super Fractor insert from those two boxes of Series 2. Plus, I might as well show off the Randy Arena autograph. And whatever else came out of there. But man, that was incredible. All right. Folks, we got these two jumbo boxes of update to open. Then, after that, we will continue with personal breaks. Matt W. is first in line for personals with a box of Topps, Chrome, Allen, and Ginter. And if there's nothing in the lineup after that, by the time we're done opening this Chrome Allen and Ginter, we're going to call it a night. So get your personal break orders in. We'll be doing personals in about 20 minutes. Soup got a photo. Oh, and Soup got a photo. Soup got a 16 by 20. Cool. Greetings from an elated Lambeau Field. Anything hitting tonight? What do you mean elated? Why is Lambeau Field elated? Are they winning stuff right now? Are they beating somebody? Oh, they beat the Rams, huh? You beat my Rams? Josh, all right. Fine. Box topper. Box, oh, it's these uh, patches. It's literally a patch. You can sew it onto your backpack or your sleeve or do whatever with it. Start with one of the two silvers. Hoskins. I like that all red Phillies uniform there with the white. That is a sick uniform. I don't remember seeing those. Those are dope. Uh, Springer. Bradley. Clemens. Isn't that a oh, yeah, cool uni?
Let's see. We're going to the backs of the update packs to find all the inserts again. Derek Holland, Shogo, Jeter, and Christian Pache. I think there's a relic or something there. We're going to go with Peacock, Bichette, Angels, and Kirilov. And behind Grandall, we have Bryce Harper, Nationals, All-Star Relic from 2015. Who got the Nationals in this break? Luis O got the Nationals. Getting a little Harper, All-Star Relic. Ha! Soup likes it when Chuck Wagon comes into the group because he has a Chiefs friend. I think we have an autograph in this pack. Just be careful, Soup. Don't make me don't make me block Waldron just so you are friendless. <laughs> just kidding. That doesn't even make sense to me. Uh, a little Willie Mays, backwards card, short print. I'll we'll sleeve that one because it's the Say Hey Kid. Going to uh, the Giants. We got the Giants in this break, Sean P. Think we have another commemorative relic here. Cabrera. McCovey, Wilhelm, and Tyler Stevenson. That's kind of a nice card. I like all the red going on there. Nice design. And behind Trace Thompson, a little Derek Jeter, 20 years captain, commemorative relic. Yankees getting some. Terezo. I think there's a backwards card behind Kyle Crick, so I'm going to set that there. Wilkinson, Munson, Metz, and Sixto. Let's see. It is backwards. It's numbered. Uh, Nolan Arenado, black parallel. Black parallel insert, numbered. Out of 299, going to Colorado. Eric B. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Ba -do -ba. Ba -do -ba. Two is just as bad as one. Only as number then. Alright, that's it. Can't really do much with that right now. Swim, 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 swim. All right, back of this pack, we got Greg Holland, David Wright, McGuire, Alec Bohm. You probably looked that song up. Let me see it real quick. Was that Three Dog Night? Three Dog Night. One is the loneliest number of chords. Well, that's popping up. I'm going to rip this pack here. All right, back of this pack, we've got something behind Mills. Well, McGuire fo foil, Tim Raines, 
bench and a little Wander Franco prospect base. That's cool. Or insert. And I want an autograph from Eduardo Rodriguez. Boston getting some love here. Baston. Robert G. When I was a robber in Baston Place. There might be an autograph here behind Grandal. Or there's a backwards card. It's probably not an auto because I just pulled one. So I don't know what I was talking about. Here's Willie, Stanton, my boy Ricky, and Luis Garcia. And behind Grandal, we got Asher. Asher going to work here anymore anyways. Wojciechowski? Woj I don't know. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Shocking, Baez, Pirates, and Joey Bart. This is kind of a cool shot. Look at all those guys. I believe that's Clemente right there. And maybe that's him. I actually can't tell. I'm not good with faces. Stargell? Is that Clemente and Stargell? That's my guess. Okay, another backwards card behind Aquino. Derek Holland, Foyle, Murray, Murphy, and Welker. And behind Aquino, we have a little Sandy Leone out of 2020. And Silver Pack. Ryu, Ravello, Seth Brown, and Jeter. And now we move to the last box in the group break, folks. The last box. And then personals. Last box, and then we start personals with Matt and Soup. Is that Matthew Waldron, Matt W.? Yeah. Okay. We're not going to be hanging out late tonight, folks. If you want to get ripped, jump in now. We're going to be live for about another 20 minutes. Unless we get product on the table. So that's your warning. Soup, you still on with us? I think I might have that. Are you going to be on for a minute? Can I do this box soup? And then I'm going to maybe try to play a few bars of that track. There's a Kyle Lewis rookie patch. That's fun. Out of the box topper. It's literally a patch. Like I said, sew it on your backpack or your sleeve or just keep it hanging around. Silver pack. Soto. Biggio. Tatis. Josh Donaldson. Cool, buddy. I'll play that in a few minutes. All right, back of the pack here. Eh, we got something. Let's see. Alex Wood went from the Giants to the or the the Dodgers to the hated Giants, and Baez went to the even more hated Astros. Dodgers fans are some Dodgers fans are taking it personally, but you're like, come on, dude, it's just a job for these guys. Got to go where the money is. Uh, here's a Luis Garcia autograph out of that first pack. Washington Nationals getting an autograph. Luis, oh, there you go, buddy. Prospect Auto, Luis Garcia. Numbered out of 25, too. Nice. Back of this pack. Bryce Wilson, Dawson, Griffey, and Garcia. 
Sometimes I don't feel like flipping the cards over. Here's a uh, Justin Furlander, All-Star Game, Black Parallel. Numbered out of 69, dudes. Yoshi Hirano, Clemente, Wynn, and Welker. Behind Kano, we have Yoshi Susugo, rookie. Okay, foil. Oh, that would have been a nice autograph. Mike Trout, Willie Mays, Joey Bart. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Shoo -doo -doo. Let's see a little Ripken foil. It's a cool card. There we go. Look at that guy in the background. Wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it be really cool to be in the background of like a super legendary card? Not I'm saying I'm not saying this card's super legendary, but you know, even this card or any card of a baseball card, wouldn't that be just cool to kind of get caught in the background of the crowd? I think it would be fun. Here's Soto, Seaver, and Pache as well. There's a DJ LeMayhew, Yankees relic. Freshly signed with the Yankees, what, five years, 90 million or something like that? LeMayhew. Terezo gets that one. Uh, Junior Guerrera, Lux, Ford, and Whitley. Forrest, Whitley, Ford. No, almost. Yeah, like the Menendez brothers. <laughs> Here is Derek Jeter, another one of those captain cards. Yankees are a good team to pick up for an update break because you get all those Derek Jeter, all those blah, blah, blah cards. My tongue is getting fat. Can't talk. What happened? <laughs> See if we have anything else in the lineup, because we're going to be cutting it short here very soon, unless we have more stuff coming up in the lineup. <clears throat> One is the... Here's Judge on the foil. There's another nice horizontal foil card. Price, Canseco, and Dalbeck. Behind Yoshi Hirano, we have a little Todd Frazier gold. Backwards card, we got Mike King, Yelich, Red Sox, and Sixto. Behind Terrence Gore, we have Alex Avila out of 2020. Last regular pack, and then one more silver pack in the group break, folks. Cano. Astros, it looks like they're about to fight. Stargell, Jeter, and Clark Schmidt. That's the end of the regular packs. Here's the last official. Here's the last pack of the group break, folks. Ooh, looks like we got some color in the back, too. Sonny Gray, Zach Gallen, Shohei, and a black mojo, Travis Demerit. 
Detroit. Detroit, what? William S. getting that demerit. Last card in the box. Well, folks, that was six jumbo boxes. Sincere thank you to everyone who helped us fill that out. I hope you enjoyed that. We got, I think there was like something like 4,000 cards in that break. So, we definitely have some cards coming. Best hits of the break. Look at this. This came out of both of our Series 2 boxes. Two silver pack autos. Hunter Harvey and an orange mojo Luis Robert silver pack auto out of 25. And a Rosarena Baseball Stars rookie auto. And, of course, the Coup de Gras. Sandy Mother Loving Koufax out of a box topper pack in a Series 1 jumbo box just from earlier. An insert box topper super fractor one of one. That was the hit probably of the night. Massive. Congrats again to Sean D. And thanks to everyone again for helping us um, sell that break. Cards will be uh, starting to ship out next week, folks. Appreciate your patience ahead of time. I'm going to put Kofax back here in the back somewhere. I'm going to do Soup's uh, photo real quick, and then we'll do that on a Ginter box. And if there's nothing else on the table after that, we're going to raffle. All right, Soup man, let's see who you got. Yeah, I know you're going to like this. Boom! Mike Tyson on the... Uh, Tyson's punch out screenshot. There it is on the overhead cam. Soup man, that is dope daddy, bro. Look at that autograph, man. That is so sick. I really like this, man. Really, really like this. Mike Tyson's punch out right there. Anybody else feeling me on this? Soup, where are you at? That is fun. <laughs> that is so good. I really like that. Soup is, there he is. I'm into it. Soup is seems kind of wishy-washy on that. I'm not sure. I think it's good. I think that's good, Soup. I want to see some more caps from you next time, buddy. I want to see a little more excitement, all right? <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Mike Tyson was messing with Koufax there. Whew. All right. Waldron on a box of Topps, Chrome, Allen, and Ginter. And if there's no orders on the table, by the time I finish this box, we're going to call it a night, folks. So you got about five minutes to get any orders on the table. CJ, post the five-minute last call link, please. Last call, folks, five minutes. And then we're taking a short uh, break from personal breaks, and we'll be back next Saturday with more personal breaks. All right, Waldron. Here we go, pack number one. Kokumai, Lusardo. Uh, a little Gavin Lux uh, mini rookie parallel. That's cool. Let's leave that for you. It might be interesting. You never know about Gavin Lux, but the mini AG chrome parallel is cool. Be nice to find you an autograph in here. Here's a uh, Chapman, Friedman, uh, Brandon Lau, and Tanaka. Gwyn, Murray, Buggin' Out, and Tatis. Woodruff, Hamels, uh, Chris Bryant, and Haterade. Some gold in here, along with Martinez, Piazza. Behind this Jumbo Martinez, we got a gold, looks like uh, Brooks Robinson, 37 out of 50, yeah. 
Gold parallel, Brooks Robinson, 37 out of 50. I would love to find a, a, a parallel colored autograph. Which I believe they do exist. Here's Luis Arez. Woodruff, Clemens, and Edwards. Some kid. Love the color and Ginner Chrome. Trying to make the Kelsey Cook rainbow. I have green, orange, and gold. Need red. Probably will never see it. I'm sure you'll see it. Kelsey Cook. Who does he play for? You got to tell me because I'm not familiar with that name. Oh, it's a celebrity. Oh, okay. What kind of celebrity? Yeah, what's he on? Movies or shows or what? I know Kelsey Grammer. Scherzer, Dunst, Bugging Out, and DeGrom. Uh, oh, she is a comedian and foosball player. Interesting. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, look at that. There you go. There's Kelsey Cook right there. I see what you mean. Oh, well, there's a green parallel behind it. It's not red. I wish it was red. It's green. Eh, this stuff is bananas. Johnny Bananas, green out of 99. Johnny Bananas here. Let's see what Johnny Bananas does. Winningest contestant in the history of MTV's The Challenge. Never heard of that show in my life, so that has no clout with me at all. My boy Ricky. Shun Yamaguchi. A little... Ramon Laureano and John Lester. Guriel Jr. Hey, how about a Luis Robert refractor? Base, but still cool. There we go, right into a penny sleeve. Boom. Alan Ginter Chrome is one of my other favorite re new releases of this season. I really enjoy it. McGuire, Keichel, Mini, and Sonny Gray. Four, five packs left, folks, and then we're raffling unless something is on the table. You've been warned. I'm going, I'm really going straight into it. I'm not taking a break or nothing. I'm going straight to raffle unless something gets on my table in about the next 60 seconds. Oops, car just jumping out at me. Uh, Rendon, three-card pack, no mini in that pack, but you did get a Willie Mays green parallel. Eighty-five out of ninety-nine. Contreras, Bauer, bugging out, and Griffey. Bob Gibson here. Uh, Joey Gallo, Brantley, and Joe Maurer, Refractor. Last pack, folks, and then we're going to raffle. Oh, soup. I totally didn't bring that, play that song for you. Hudson, Marte, Martinez, and Anthony K. There you go, Waldron. Two green parallels, Willie Mays and Johnny Bananas. Gold parallel in uh, Brooks Robinson. Luis Robert, rookie refractor. And Gavin Lux, mini rookie, is what I sle sleeved for you. Thanks for jumping in, Waldron. Appreciate your continued support. How are we looking, Siege? Nothing? Oh, all right. It's raffle time, folks. Give me one moment.
All right, folks, give me a minute to set up for the raffle. Alrighty, I think we're ready. I just want to—I want to take this home and put it under my pillow tonight. But maybe Sean D can do that. This is such a gorgeous card. I really enjoy that. I'm so glad we pulled that for you, buddy. I'd be glad to pull that for anybody. Uh, here's a couple of boxes we're gonna raffle off tonight: Heritage High Number and a Tops Update. Spot one is gonna get Heritage High Number, and then the bottom spot I'm gonna do. Top spot and bottom. Top's going to get Heritage. Bottom's going to get Update. Follow me to the randomizer. Here's all the participants. Let's roll the dice again. Dice comes up with a six the hard way. Again. Six times, folks. Good luck. Top and bottom. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, and here comes the six and final roll. Thank you and good luck. Sixer, soup, coming in the top spot. Tim M landing in the bottom. Soup. Tim. There it is. The randomizer has spoken. The stickers are on. And we are out of here for about the next week, folks. Uh, personal Our shop will be open for curbside pickup for the next week, but we will not be doing any more personal breaks until next Saturday, folks. So be sure to uh, turn it back right here next Saturday. In the meantime, you can support us at HOFBC.com, and we'll ship out products every day. Thanks for your support this evening. Hope you guys uh, have a good rest of, the, rest of your week, and I'll uh, see you next Saturday. Love you all. Peace.